let them go. I do think Rin is going to stay. I actually agree. I don't know. Kathy Hilton's going to have to backtrack on her on her ultimatum because listen, let me tell you right now. As much as we all love Kathy Hilton, or not everybody does actually, but they will choose Lisa Rinna over Kathy Hilton. Let's let's not let's not for what she does for this show. I mean, Rinna will burn her 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 iconic hair off. Yeah, and, yeah, Rinna's and. and like, so, I mean, she will. I mean, I'm hoping that we could have all. I do think Kathy will probably be back, but I could see Kathy being like, no. I mean, Kathy is, to me, still above the show. She comes in in slippers. She does an hour of an interview at the, at the reunion. She's like, you guys all, oh, wait, you've been here nine hours knocking your heads and you're going to be here nine more hours? Not me. I got to go catch. She was on a plane with Latoya Jackson flying. She just went to Chris Jetter's birthday party. <laughs> I mean, like, I think it's just, that, like, I think Kathy's one of those where it's so organic and natural when she's in. Listen, I agree with you. I think she loves it. I could see her coming back, but I also think when she's in it, she's in it. And if she's not in it, she's going to go do something else with her life. Like she don't care. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think I, I could see that in a world, but I think Rena, I think Dorit, Crystal and Diana are gone. And I do think Rena is going to stay. I don't think all these people, right. Thank you for throwing yourself in there, Teddy. I mean, did you see the latest reports also that Lisa Vanderpump and Brandy are being considered guys? Slow no, down. Slow I, down. no, because I just read another Fake story news. this week. Vanderpump says she'll never, ever be back. She wants nothing to do with it. I believe that's the truth. And why would she? She's got Vanderpump rules coming back. No, she's not coming back. She's not coming back. And if she came back, it would have to be. Look, I mean, Heather Dubrow came back, I think, to uh, whether she I mean, she doesn't admit it, but she came back. You know, she says, I'm not a producer. It's still Kelly's gone. And Heather, got, I think I think the reason Tamara didn't come back was because of Heather. She wanted her big Heather's back. And it's just Heather. Uh, Vanderpump, maybe one day, but it will have to be like a Lisa Vanderpump, like has a big say in it. And it ain't going to be the current staff or cast. So uh, she's not coming back next season. No, I still think to me, the one that makes the most sense is Denise. A lot of people commented last time and said like, you know, but why, why David? Cause Denise, Denise doesn't share or tell the truth. I, I get what everyone's saying, but I think when you have something and then it goes away and then you come back, like you're coming back knowing the game now. And I think it would be a diff. I really think it'd be a whole different Denise. She's going to share. She's going to admit and she's going to come for vengeance. I don't think it's going to be the other Denise. I get why people don't necessarily want it, but I think it's a different Denise. Oh, I, and look, I mean, can you imagine that announcement? Can you imagine R-H-O-B-H the next season, Kyle Richards, Lisa Renna, Sutton, Garcelle, Kathy Hilton, Denise Richards. Ah, I mean, now we're talking just, I mean, we're talking Hollywood royalty as a fucking show. You know, I mean, it's it, Denise I, versus Renna, period. The showdown of the century. And like, if, oh my God, I hope we run into to Denise at Craig's because I would say to her, the very first episode you shoot, I've said this, you need to walk and you need to own up to that threesome. You fucked Brandy like never before. Own it all. You know, you ate out Brandy for 10 hours. Tell the whole thing. You know what I mean? And then just go after Rena. I mean, it would be television gold. We would all watch. And like, let's not forget, Lisa was married to Charlie Sheen. She's been, she has her own, like she makes the tabloids like with her daughter and her own, like, I mean, I mean, Denise, Denise is, Denise is not like a little quiet wallflower. Like Denise is like, has oh, had yeah. some batshit viral. And let's not forget yeah. Denise had her own reality show. Like Denise is like, not exactly like, you know, baking cookies and going to bed at 8 p.m. Like she's a little off herself. Like, I don't think people realize like- I know, I Denise know. Could I could come Denise. back as a crazy psychotic Denise Richards. She has it yes. in her, trust me. Yes. So look, do I think Denise, I think the second person who makes sense would be Brandy. I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to go there, but look, Denise, Rinna and Brandy together. I mean, wait, I mean, like let's have Denise and Brandy figure this out on air and just- I mean, you're not coming. I mean, Denise, she would have to be open to all of this, but I don't know. I think that's what makes the most sense. I do, but I just, I don't think a pause is necessarily ever good for all the cast members, but look at the OC. They brought almost everyone back, right? It wasn't like such a shocker. 
So. No, I mean, I, I love it. I, I think it's so fascinating. Also, I wanted to ask you, you know, your friend, Catherine Edwards, you guys do a show together. Catherine was very adamant that Kathy would never have said a gay slur. You know, of course, you you always get pressed, but that got picked up. Um, okay, what's your take? Do you believe Catherine? I, I didn't hear the show or the clip. Like, what, what do you think? I mean, and some people are pushing back on this. I mean, Catherine, look, Catherine knows these people. She was on the show, but she knows them. She was saying, like, look, Kathy is very... And people, I'll, let me get, finish my sentence, people, because everyone's going to point to the, the scene where Kathy swore, like that Kathy doesn't swear, that Kathy is really anti-cursing in the real world. Now, people are calling to that clip in Aspen when she left that shop and she's our like, Kimosabi and she was like, fuck this or whatever. I don't know. It was, it was beeped out. I mean, I know you could kind of hear what someone says, but it's beeped, but you don't really know what she said. Right. Like, so I think that's a bad example. Look, I always believe Catherine, Catherine, look, Catherine knows Kathy Hilton more than a hundred percent of the people listening minus maybe one person random. That's going to tell me that no, they're best friends with Kyle that's listening and they know Kathy. Right. So, but short of that, she knows these people way more than any of us. So yeah, I believe Catherine and I believe it. And I just, it doesn't make sense to me. And then the fact that she's going to tell Erica, I mean, where Catherine's point is like Erica's whole audience is gay. Her whole fan base for Pat the Puss is gay. Like, why would you say this to one of your enemies, so to speak? Doesn't make sense. I thought I thought Catherine's take made a lot of sense. Like, well, how could how could Erica really maybe hear the whole thing in the club anyway? So she might have misinterpreted it, you know. Um, and it does seem like Kathy doesn't curse. And I mean, I would think Kathy is smart enough to know you you wouldn't say that, but. I don't know. You know, nothing su surprises me with people, but. Uh... You, know, you know what surprises me? What? What surprises me is current day Lisa Rinna, as Sutton says, social media behavior. I mean, this is where it's like, look, the show's on pause, right? The show's on pause. And you're not Kyle and you're not Erica. And you're not Garcelle. Well, you're not 100% in, girl. So if I were Lisa, I would be laying low. I mean, we have this whole Twitter thing where the Twitter is she deactivated it, they deactivated it. We can get into that. But like on Instagram, I mean, she's a, you know, that whole thing where she did like a week or two ago where she's like, they gave such a tribute to Lois, more than almost anyone has gotten, you know, as far as the family member. She's mad. Now she's arguing they didn't want me to have any sympathy. So I understand she's saying it's tied to that, but she's mad they didn't show this hand-drawn picture of Lois. So she's mad. She's coming out against production and Andy, she's mad. Then two days later, Andy's saying like, yes, Lisa Rinna had an envelope. The, the contents of the envelope were the thing with Sutton and the Elton John. We had to edit that. Nobody cares anymore. And Lisa so Rinna goes on a tirade against Andy. It was two envelopes, not one. What? I don't care how many envelopes, like what? Like, why are we like arguing? Cares, right? Like, 